charred by a dragon. Welcome to the Bryce side, everyone. Rumour has it that the prequel of Game of Thrones is being filmed here, right over my shoulder. Some of it, that is. A part of it. A teeny weeny bit of it. So, at St. Michael's Mount, at Marazion, is where we can see some big white tents where allegedly there is some stuff going on, some Hollywood, Hollywood action has come to West Cornwall. Let's go check it out. We did a little video in Marazion oh, a little while ago now. I'll try and figure out how to link that in. Check it out. I've been over to the Mount quite a few times in my lifetime but I haven't filmed it, haven't videoed it and put it up onto YouTube. So that is something that we will go and do soon, but not now. Actually, I don't even know if you can get over there with the filming, I assume not. And of course, making it difficult was the pandemic. The 2020, 2021 global pandemic, which, I mean, it's May. It's May 2021. We are coming out of lockdown slowly in the UK, so things are starting to reopen. Um, we can't go inside buildings yet, or restaurants at least. Um, but it is... Things are getting there, which is good. We'll get back to a little bit of normality, I think. So travelling is a bit restricted. Travelling worldwide, definitely restricted. And I'm... I assume that the, the producers of this prequel show are looking at places around the UK because we can't get to other countries. So apparently we can get to Ireland. Um, but I think that's about it. So I think a lot of things being filmed, like in Croatia, that sort of area, I don't think is currently allowed. So we've got a coastline. So beautiful. Whoa! I thought I saw a dragon. Maybe not. Okay. I think we're good. It's not bright. But you know when it's... cloudy, but... I should have brought my shades. I failed. I didn't do it. Now I'm gonna be all squinty. So I was never... I watched Game of Thrones. I watched it. I did my televisual duty. Took a couple of years to get there. I, we, I saw a lot of hype about this show back when it started and I must be honest it didn't initially grab my interest but I sat down one night thought I'd check it out see what it was all about and I ended up enjoying it. For the, for the, for the whole I ended up enjoying the movie, uh, the show make that. Um, so, when I heard about the prequel, or some of the prequel, elements of the prequel being filmed here, right at St. Michael's Mount, I thought, let's put this on camera and get it there, get it up into the world. So there it is, St. Michael's Mount in all its glory. Buildings on the harbour, and a few focus there, you can see a white tent, and another one, we'll get a better angle in a minute, we'll walk around a little bit more, there's another white tent on the left hand side there, where they're doing, whoa I just fell down, just fell down a hole in the beach, very difficult to make out, but I think there's like a, a crane type structure on the right hand side, on the extreme right hand side of the mount, extreme right from this angle, from the long rock side of the mount. Can't quite make out what it is, but 
It's not usually there to my knowledge. How much seaweed can a beach take? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Look at it. Very difficult to see, but you can on that little grassy hill, you can make out a little bit of smoke. So they're creating some atmosphere. I wonder if there's a dragon over there. There's another little shot of that little crane. You can see it a bit better here, but very difficult to pick up with the camera. But yeah, they are filming. There's a little pathway that, that leads up to that little grassy area. Yeah, I can't traverse that little beach river. We've got to go around. We'll find a bridge. Eighteen thirty-seven. Been there a little while. Right beside this modern structure, this little footbridge just to take me over that river. Nice. Giving directions to maybe the crew, techs, cars. Or maybe completely not related, but I would have thought so because down here, more white tents. Quite an extensive formation of tents and vehicles just on the other side of the road, just as you come into Marazion. Beach box. Not that we're hungry, we've just had lunch. But, uh. Nice few bits and pieces. An Oklahoma onion burger. And some beverages. Maybe we'll check that out one day. Maybe you'd buy me an ice cream. Okay, we didn't go for an ice cream in the end. We went for, we opted for a hot chocolate with all the trimmings. You got the same. Nice. What? Hmm. Need to make a channel through to get the chocolate experience. This is not going to be, this is going to be messy. I always like to check in on HMS Warspite's memorial plaque. A legendary ship, a great ship, if you are aware of your maritime history, your Royal Navy history. Served in both wars. A true veteran. So there's that little tent peeking out from that left-hand side. We've just finished with our hot chocolate, so we'll see a, we'll try and get a little better angle of that tent in a minute. Pretty cool. Angle-wise, I think that's going to be as best as I can get. 
those tents. Pretty cool. Closely down into the sea, you can see the causeway that will take you over to the mount when the tide is out. Fail or not, you when the tide is in, you get the boat or you get wet feet. I think we'll go for a boat. Majesty King Edward landed near this spot, April 19th, 1902. Huh. It's a significant wall of seaweed. That is a lot of seaweed that's washed up. And it stinks. So that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed that video. Just a little quick look at... Uh, at what's going on out there on St Michael's Mount at the minute with the filming of the prequel to Game of Thrones. If you like the video, as always, give it a, a, a big thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and then you won't miss out on my videos. Um, subscribe to the Bright Side, it's absolutely free to do so. And that's pretty much it. Cheers and gone.